Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great Class A bargain priced motorhome from Parkway RV Center. I'm going to look at one of my personal favorite brands, and that is a Winnebago. This is a very nice and clean 2005 Winnebago Sightseer Chalet edition. It's the Model 30BR. It's only 31 feet long with a big super slide. I mean, this is an ideal motorhome for state parks, older campgrounds, or just for somebody that's not wanting a real big motorhome to have to travel and park in. Perfect size right here, folks, for a couple or for four people. Um, of course, Winnebago, great quality brand. I own one myself. I like the fact that Winnebago is the only manufacturer that builds 80% of their own parts in-house. Advantage of that over the other brands that only use aftermarket parts is that you can always get just about any part for a Winnebago. Doesn't matter if it's a 2015 model, a 2005 model, or a 1975 model. Winnebago has parts all the way back to 1968 in stock, and yes, they will sell directly to the public without going through a dealer. And um, another thing I like about Winnebago is they're one of the few brands that have a standard low maintenance fiberglass roof. Not rubber that you gotta go up there and spend several hours every year maintaining, but a fiberglass. Takes you about 30 minutes to do your yearly maintenance every year. That's it, folks. Very easy to take care of. It's gonna last you a lifetime if you take care of it, folks. But this is a Winnebago Chalet Sightseer or Sightseer Chalet edition. It is a Sightseer, folks. Just a Chalet is kind of a fancier edition that they made uh, for the Sightseer. 31 feet long, got one big super slide out. 86,029 miles, I believe. I'll, I'll look when we go inside. But slide out has an awning topper, got a 4KW Onan RV generator. You know, let me tell you something, folks. Winnebago is one of the few brands that actually builds their own frames in house. They weren't happy with the quality of the frames uh, they were getting from the aftermarket vendors, which ironically is the same aftermarket vendors that. 90% of the other RV manufacturers buy their frames from. So at the time, of course this has been a while ago, at the time they did something nobody else had done before and actually built their own frame factory. So the advantage of that to you as a buyer is you get a superior fit and finish because the frame on this Sightseer Chalet was designed for a 30BR Sightseer Chalet. That's what it was built and designed for by Winnebago engineers to work with the way they build their motorhomes. Other brands, they have to build the RV and design it around the frame. Well, this one, everything works together because you're going to see the same frame on a Fleetwood Discovery as you do a Coachman Murata or a Coachman Sport Coach or, or a, a Four Winds Hurricane. I mean, it's crazy but you just get a lot better fit and finish when the rv manufacturer can actually design the frame to work with the with the motorhome everything works together folks in harmony and you know winnebago of course the name is synonymous with pretty much any class a motorhome you know winnebago's been around since 1955 and if you can make it that long in this industry you have to build a superior product Uh, metal frame, uh, steel frame, aluminum and steel, and steel in the cab. Of course, fiberglass roof, windshields look great. A nice little motorhome right here, folks, for only $24.9. Double power steps. Uh, you've got the store and more cargo systems, which, right, which means the slide out on the other side, the storage trays come out with it so you don't have to bend over and hit your head when you got to load it or unload it. Let's look inside. Folks, as we step inside here, I've got the air conditioner on. It's nice and cool. It's a clean little motorhome, folks. It, it really is, and it's been well cared for. Got the carpeted headliner with no stains. I've got one vent I have to replace right there, which has probably been missing for years. And, and it's not really the vent. It's just a, you can twist it around to, uh, to redirect the airflow is all that is. 
Let's start here in the front cab. Uh, of course, you can see it's a sightseer, 30 BR. Seats, of course, look great. You know, Winnebago builds their own furniture, their own cabinets, their own. Uh, they they install their own carpet. I mean, there's their own upholstery. Everything in this thing, 80 percent of the parts in here are Winnebago parts. Got a DVD TV combination, HD TV. That wasn't factory, that's been added on over the years. It came factory with a CRT TV. Uh, got the level up leveling jacks, uh, made by Queeky, which also builds a slide out. Lippard Components, of course, owns Queeky. Uh, 86,000 in 92 miles. We just drove it 600 miles in here. It's got the backup camera, um, stereo, Auxiliary start, the rear heater, and this is actually a exclusive item for, um, excuse me folks, let me clean my lens a little bit. Huh? I usually clean my lens before every video, but I ran out of the little lens wipes. I've got some more ordered, so I just do what I can with some glass cleaner, and it just doesn't, doesn't do as good. Anyway, you've got the rear heater, which is an exclusive Winnebago uh, patent. They have a patent on this. What it is, when you're driving down the road, Winnebago's engineers realize that 90, 80 to 90 percent of the heat generated by your motor is wasted. They actually devised a system that will actually heat your rear bedroom when you turn it on. You don't have to turn it on if you don't want to. But it will heat the rear bedroom with the wasted heat from the, uh, from the motor. That way you, you've got a nice, warm, comfortable bedroom if you're going somewhere in the wintertime. And you don't have to run your furnace on when you're going down the road. So basically it was designed so you can run the dash heat when you're driving to keep it comfortable up here. You've got that rear heat keeping it comfortable in the back. You don't have to run your furnace while you're driving down the road unless it's just extremely cold weather. And you also get the added benefit as they routed that rear heat system around the water heater you get a free tank of hot water as well when you use that heat system so it's got some pretty cool features i've got the same thing on my uh, 2008 winnebago i love it you know i don't do a lot of wintertime camping you know i maybe once or twice but uh, i definitely uh, make pretty good use of that rear heat system it's really cool how it works um, of course, your carpets look great. Got the cup holders. Seats both swivel for party seating. Dash looks good. There's no claw marks in the vinyl dash cover. That's a sure sign that they've had pets like dogs and cats in here because they love to get up on those big dashes. And it has none of that on there. So obviously they haven't had pets in here. No smoke odors. And folks, I don't smoke, so I'm very sensitive to it, just like many of you are. And we we tend to stay away from the smoke units and. Every once in a while, if we get one in on trade or something, I'll tell you if it's got smoke odors, folks, because I'm not going to risk you having a bad buying experience uh, over over something trivial as that. Um, and that's why, for those of you who watch my videos, you know I always point out the good and the bad. And when I point out the bad, it's usually stuff that we don't fix um, in our standard checkout. I don't know if you noticed it or not, but this particular unit had a, a torn awning canvas. We're going to fix that when we go through our standard checkout, so you don't have to worry about that. It's going to have a new awning canvas. And uh, if I'd seen anything else outside that we weren't going to fix, I definitely would have pointed that out to you because, I'll tell you something, folks, we sell a lot of units on eBay. Feedback is very important to us. We're not going to risk bad feedback over a broken tail light or a, or a, a scuff and a scrape or something like that. I mean, we're going to disclose everything that we can that we're going to fix and what we're not going to fix so uh one thing i've noticed they have changed the floors in here because the sightseers came standard with the carpet and this may have been part of the chalet package it may not uh, but the part of it has been changed with linoleum vinyl floor it looks like hardwood but it's that perco or pergo floor and it looks great it's easier to keep clean you still have carpet in the bedroom the cab and underneath the table a sofa makes a bed, table booth makes a bed, six sleeper if you need it to. Uh, nice kitchen area, you got residential style double basin sinks, residential style faucet with a sprayer, stove top, oven, microwave. 
ice cold 15,000 BTU ducted roof air. Refrigerator freezer is cold. In fact, I've got my handy dandy little little pocket. Oh, look, this thing is handy as anything, folks. Negative seven degrees in the freezer, and it's already below freezing. Well, it's 40 degrees in here. Of course, now I've got it turned up all the way to cool it off quicker. Most of the time, you're going to run these Nor Colds on about three. Of course, roof air blowing out plenty cold. I mean, 35 degrees, that's uh, pretty. Pretty nice to notice, and I like the fact, well, I can show you this since the, the little vent cover is missing. You've got about a two inch thick piece of styrofoam right there. For, and a lot of RB manufacturers don't do that. And what that does, you've got that white fiberglass roof. It's getting a lot of heat from that sun. And this is insulating, protecting the inside from getting some of that heat with that extra thick uh, styrofoam insulation. And you've also got steel trusses in the ceilings and things like that too. But uh, that is a thick piece of styrofoam and it keeps it cool in here. We'll step toward the back and keep in mind folks this is a relatively small class A at 31 foot. At a glance system this is everything right here your generator, your monitor panel, your thermostat everything in one spot. Slide out control. You've got a split bathroom which is about all you can get in a 30 foot camper. Um, Obviously hadn't had many showers taken in it. And I'll tell you how I can tell. First of all, look at the skylight. You see any water stains, any marks, anything like that. Look at, and Winnebago probably does this on purpose so you can kind of tell how much use it's had. You see that sticker down there? Folks, when you're taking a shower, that sticker is getting wet, dry, wet, dry. Plus, you're walking all over it with your feet. So, you can imagine after several showers in here, that sticker is pretty much tattered or it's gone but look how good that looks and i know that's a trivial thing but to me you know part of buying a used rv is buying one that hasn't been wore out and when you see something like that it gives you an idea that it doesn't have as much use uh as, as most of the other ones out there and you know folks they may have been big a big guy like me you see i'm a big guy i'm six foot four 280 pounds I've got a 38-foot Class A, and, and even then, folks, if I'm at a campground, they've got a nice bathhouse, which most of them do now, especially like the KOAs and things like that. My happy butt's going to the bathhouse to take a shower. There's a whole lot more room, a lot more water pressure, and unlimited hot water. You don't get that with an RV. You can buy a 45-foot uh, diesel Class A and spend 300 grand and still get a lot, a lot better bathroom and shower experience at a bathhouse if you're a big guy like me. Now, if you're a normal sized person, this shower right here will do you just fine. But like I said, I'm, I'm a pretty pretty hefty guy, so I don't, um, I prefer my room, and that's why I, I try to, if I'm going to a campground I've never been to before, I usually try to check out the reviews online, see if they say anything about the bathhouse. Cause that's, uh, you know, it's important to me to have a pretty comfortable shower. And that's something, don't get me wrong, I can I could fit in that shower right there. I can use it, but it's, just, it's going to be cramped for me. It's just something to use if you have to. Uh, rear bedroom. Queen Island bed. Uh, closet over there. You could hang a TV. Looks like they probably had a TV at one time up here. There's some screws in the wall. Either that or a picture. But you've got a 12-volt hookup for a TV. Of course, you can hang it there if you wanted to. I don't know if I showed you this private water closet, and this is and, and here's a pure, uh, a perfect example of how good the fit and finish is on a Winnebago. We're leaning a little bit downhill on the slide outside, which is fine, but because these, this fit and finish is so tight in this thing, that door is hard to open because of that. Now, if we were, if this was brought up a couple of inches level, that door would open just fine. That's how tight that fit and finish is. Um, well, and you can certainly open it when you're not level. You just have to put a little muscle into it. Uh, you've got an RV toilet. You can see nice vent. The vent up there is not, not stained or, or water stained, anything like that. Everything looks good in here. Got the, got the uh, sink and all that stuff. 
And you can also open this door up all the way. It's got a little catch there. And that's going to give you a privacy screen. And you'll have the complete bedroom and bathroom to get ready in. Or you can open that up, screen it, and make a screen, open this curtain up, and you can completely isolate the bathroom if you wanted to. Books and manuals are in it. That's getting to be a, kind of a hard thing to find anymore lately. Kind of like buying a used car, you got about a 50-50 shots of the books and manuals being in, in a used car just like you do a used motorhome. I don't know if people keep them for souvenirs or what. I, I, I can't explain it. But, because even if you do have the books and manuals, it, it'll tell you what's in it, but they're very vague about how you operate it and how you troubleshoot it. But this particular one does have the books and manuals. Nice little motorhome right here, folks. 31 foot long, big slide, sleep six. Oh, I meant to tell you the miles. I did tell you, it did. 86,092 miles. I'll tell you, folks. Been a busy day today, and, and uh, you know, sometimes I forget what I said on the video every once in a while. But anyway, 86,000 miles. Got a ton of life left to it. It's going to include a 90 day nationwide limited warranty. It's going to include a major systems check by our certified RV techs that will be completed after purchase. All that's included for the haggle-free price of $24.9. Plus, it also includes a walkthrough by the uh, RV tech that checked it out. It's going to include a starter kit, 45-day temporary tag, instructional DVDs, and more. That's what we call option A. We give you two different options to be here, or, or what I like to call the stress-free no worry option. 24 9 that's a haggle free firm price. Doesn't matter if you're paying cash, doesn't matter if you're financing, doesn't matter if you're trading in. It's 24 9 You get the 90 day nationwide limited warranty that you can take to pretty much any repair facility. Um, you also get that complete major system check by our certified RV techs, which covers all of the major important systems so that they work. And when you pick it up or we deliver it, you're not going to have any worries. And if you pick it up here in person, of course, that RV tech's going to give you a complete walkthrough demonstration how to operate everything on this coach. And so you can rest assured. And you leave with it, you're ready to go to the campground. So that's the stress free, worry free, easy option 24 9. However, I know a lot of you are older, you know, old school, you know, even though the days of negotiating are in the past now. Thanks to the internet, all the dealers are, are becoming more and more haggle-free. Because and the and the reason you gotta put put yourself in our shoes, folks, for a second. You know, the, the number one thing that attracted you to this video and attracted you to this RV in particular was the price. Let's not fool around, let's not kid ourselves. The price is very attractive to you, and that's why you're interested in it. That's the first thing that attracts anybody to a used RV is the price. We're competing. Put, ourself, put yourselves in our shoes for a second. We're competing against literally thousands of RV dealers on the internet. When a few, and because the buyer has so many resources available today that 10, 15 years ago people could only dream of. I mean, how nice is it to be able to get online and look at every single 2005 Sightseer Chalet 30BR in the country for sale? You can do that, folks. A simple Google search. You can see every single one for sale. You can look at them, you can compare the mileage, you can compare the condition, you can compare the price, most importantly. All right. So where we're coming from as a dealer is if we don't have the lowest or one of the lowest prices on the Internet for this particular make and model RV in the current condition, the mileage, and the warranty and all that stuff included, folks, our phones would never ring, our, our lots would be empty, our email boxes would be empty because people shop for price. They're going to call and buy from a dealer that has the lowest price for what they're looking for. I mean, that's, that's just the way things are. And thanks to the internet, people aren't limited to just visiting their local RV dealerships anymore. They can shop pretty much every dealership in the United States and beyond. So. We have to price our units at the haggle-free price because we're already pre-discounting these units uh, just so we can compete and have the lowest price on the market. And folks, obviously what we're doing is working, folks. And I know no system's perfect. 
Most people prefer the haggle-free price, especially when they look online, when they see what this same make and model brings everywhere else. And if you want to haggle, folks, I'll be more than happy to mark the price up on this unit for 30, from 24 9 to 34 9 and we can spend days haggling to get it back down to what I was originally asking for it, which is 24 9 If that makes you feel better, folks, then, then call us, tell us you want to haggle. We'll mark the price up. We'll haggle. At the end of the day, we've wasted a lot of each other's time just to get to the same results, which is a price that attract that, that makes it attractive to you. So we just decided to cut all that nonsense out, put the attractive price right from the start, 24.9, lowest, you know, one of the lowest, if not the lowest price on the internet for this particular make and model. Out the door, we're not going to surprise you like other dealers do that make up for having a lower price by adding thousands of dollars in fees uh, after you already agree to pay the price and then they add four or five thousand dollars in dock fees, prep fees, acquisition fees, freight fees, tag and title fees and all that other nonsense. All those fees are 100% dealer profit. Folks, the prices are haggle free and out the door plus sales tax if you're a Georgia resident and, um, um, and all out of state residents of course pay your sales tax. Your state's sales tax rate when you tag and title this motor home at your uh, local DMV office in your home state you get a 45 day temp tag as well now uh, for those of you who even after hearing all this still want to haggle down prices that's fine we'll try to help you out we try to accommodate as many people as we can we have what we call option B which is for those of you who want a little bit lower price we offer you the ability to buy it the same way we bought it, which was as is, as it sets, no checkout, no warranty, no guarantee, no walkthrough, because we don't have to pay anybody to do all those things, and we don't have to pay the warranty company to put a warranty on it. It saves us time and money if you take option B. So that time and money that we save, we pass along to you in the form of a discounted price off that 24.9. And folks, I'm not asking you to base which option you want to take off my video. If you will call us with a minimum 24 hour notice, make an appointment with one of my available salespeople, um, be here on time and we'll have the unit plugged into power or have the generator running, have the fridge and the air on for you so you can do your own inspection. After you ins do your own inspection, you can decide then do I want to if you want to do option A the haggle which is a 24-9 stress-free option and leave it with us for a couple of weeks while we get it pushed through the shop to get it checked out or you may decide hey you know what I can't find anything wrong with it let me just go ahead and take option B take the discounted price now the discounted price does not include the awning like I said it's as is as it sets and you may decide let me do the option B I'll go ahead and take it, pay for it, take it with me today. And I promise you folks, for the money you'll save on option B, we'll pay for, well, I can't imagine it not paying for whatever may or may not be wrong on this RV. You know, we've already drove it 600 miles. The driving works great. We've obviously checked the slide outs because they're out. Uh, obviously, the generator works and the air and the fridge works. And I've got them on right now, and I just showed you my thermometer that they work. Either way you go, option A or B, you're getting a nice motor home for a great price. 706-965-7929 is our phone number. We've been family owned and operated since 1969 or 1968. That's 49 years in business, folks. We sell almost 600 used RVs because we've got the lowest prices on the internet. It goes back to what I said earlier. Keep in mind now we don't check these things out till we sell them because that allows us to not have to hire so many RV technicians because we have 170 used RVs in stock and if they pre-check every single one of them, you know what folks, I'm going to have to hire 20, 25 more techs. It's going to cost me a whole lot more money to pre-check all these RVs and the more I have to pay, the more I have to charge. It's simple economics. The more overhead a dealer has, the more the price, the higher the price is. I mean, they have to, to 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 cover all their expenses. You know, when you've been in business 49 years, like we have, everything we own's paid for. Our buildings paid for, our properties paid for, our inventories paid for. We're one of the few dealers that actually has the titles to every single one of their RVs in the safe in our office. 
other dealers have to take their titles to their banks that they do business with and borrow money on them. Well, they call it floor planning, and um, they have, and they get charged a ton of money in interest, and that interest charge they pass along to the customer in the form of higher prices because that creates higher overhead. We operate off a of cash basis, even though we have financing available for our customers. We'll spend several hundred thousand dollars a week on motorhomes, folks, and just write a check. But, you know, that's why we keep our prices low, because we don't have to pay all that junk. Other dealers who've not been in business as long as we have just simply haven't gotten to that point yet. These dealers that sponsor NASCAR and have these multi-million dollar showrooms, folks, they're mortgaged up to their eyeballs. And um, all that mortgage is includes an interest, and interest creates overhead. Overhead creates higher prices. Anyway, folks, give us a call, 706-965-7929. We're family-owned and operated since 1968, one of the oldest, largest, and most successful independent-owned, family-operated used RV dealerships in business today. Financing is available with approved credit, minimum 10% down required, no commission salespeople, no games, no gimmicks, no trouble, no drama. I've got four non-commissioned salespeople selling almost 600 units a year, so about there should tell you how busy they stay. We always recommend calling over emailing because time is precious to my non-commissioned salespeople because they stay busy from the time they get here to the time they go home. You can learn more in a 10 minute phone conversation than you can in two hours emailing back and forth. And my simply because my guys just don't have the time. They'll answer all emails but expect up to a 48 hour delay and during which time somebody else could call and buy this thing out from under you. So. Don't take the chance, folks. Something like this is definitely worth spending a few minutes on the phone. Call us, email us. Nationwide delivery is available. Financing is available. Extended warranties are available. Contact us for a quote. 706-965-7929. Thank you for watching.